you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money, you should too. The link is in the description, be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out, the link's in the description. Thank you. Welcome everybody to another Moist Tea Gaming video where we have to fix the mess that you have just seen. Now, I had a quick tickle of this in the previous one where I thought about having to do something with it. But what that was, I wasn't too sure. But now I have a cunning plan. As you can see, all the trains are a little bit of a mess. The, I mean, just look at it. That is ridiculous. I can't be having that. This needs to change. So, the plan. The plan is to have this separated. We're going to have something quite funky. I appear to have an equal amount of freight and express. So what I'm going to try and do is have three freight station available for the freight trains and three available for the express trains and two available here for the ones which supply stuff into the towns itself, for example, well, from the rural stations. Over here, for example, I want it to go into its own thing. Now, money isn't an issue, so we can definitely fix this. But it is definitely going to require some fiddling around again. So before all of these train drivers murder somebody, we need to make sure they are happy and that we actually start getting money because it is definitely going to be hampering our profits and the growth of all the cities. That's going to slow us down big time just for the sake of a bit of... I can't say that on YouTube. A bit of um, reorganising. Because we do need to get some cities up to stupid amounts of people. We've got one, but we need the others to do the same. Probably Albany, I presume. Yeah, that's just grown into something enormous. So we do need to sort that out. So remember this. All these trains being an absolute nuisance. And I am going to fix it. If you have been following, previously what we've done is we've had two express, two freight, and that was it. And then I attempted to fiddle with this, doing it a bit more girthy. But I never really sorted it out, so now I'm going to. Something else I could also do is to get rid of the maintenance station in Boston and Albany. Those are my two busiest stations, and that would seriously speed things up. We've got one in Syracuse and Portland, etc. So they should be okay. And as a good fellow member on the Discord suggested, is to get a doodah in. So what I'm first going to do is get rid of this, and destroy the maintenance building. It shouldn't be at 100% anyway, but we'll get rid of that and stick in a dispatch hall. And look at that. Shortens all the wait times for all the trains by a stupid amount. Excellent. We'll get one of them in. Thank you. No doubt you're going to come crying to me about that in the Discord. Say, why didn't you say my name? Why didn't you say my name? But you know who you are. I'm not going to give you full credit on that one. Even though I should. <laughs> anyway, let's do that in Albany as well. Get rid of that. I think I've put new maintenance depots in all of them, but I must have definitely forgot to sort it out properly. That might even be why we have such a huge delay. We'll stick a dispatch hall here as well. That should certainly clear some things up. I must have definitely mispressed the maintenance things because they shouldn't all be at 100%. They were supposed to be in 80% in the towns. I'll go around and sort all that out now. Right, there we go. I've done it. All of the towns now have 80%, a bar from Albany and Boston, which doesn't have one. Soon see how this plays out, won't we? This should be fine, going from Portland to Syracuse, hopefully without a maintenance. 
might be a good idea to stick in one of those maintenance things where it stops them from doing stupid things. It will incur more costs, but it is what it is. Well, I'll stick that in after we sorted out this train line. So to get things really rolling, I'm going to have three express, three freight, and two of the other ones as available stations. However, as we go up, I'm just going to reduce it back to a two. Or setting up the train line to use all three is going to be an absolute nightmare. As long as they can all use it, that should be good. Ooh, I've actually just thought of something else as well which could be useful. Especially on this bit of track here. So, people who haven't been following, we have one that goes all the way from Montreal. No, from Portland all the way to Buffalo. And then one from Montreal to Buffalo and back. Eventually, we're going to do a loop de loop round here. But this triangle one that I've got going between New York, Albany and Boston can have its own set of tracks running through here. That might be a jolly good option. I think I'll do that. I do believe that will free up more room overall anyway. So I'll, yeah, we'll go for that one. Might be a little bit of fiddling around though. That will mean having these two as express on this bit and these two as freight and then these two as express and these two as freight. The rural businesses, I'm reckoning sticking on the triangle section just because of this route that we're going to make, just because it will be less populated. So this is a 4 and all this section is turning to an 8. So that's the first thing we're going to do is extend all of this all the way along. This is going to get a little, little bit expensive. But it shouldn't be too bad. This is probably going to cost me around a million. I don't fancy digging up a load of tunnels, but that might be the only way to do this. Unfortunately. So I do want to keep it pa a parallel track. And if we don't do that, then we are going to be in trouble. That is for sure. It's going to cost me a full million to do. But once this is done, it should be well worth it. Probably get my money back really quickly. There we go, that's the last one going in. These bridges, that is one fat bridge now, look at that. Excellent. Nice, and then we've got a few bridges going on down here. It's a little bit weird. Well, there's trees growing on it that will disrupt the foundation. I mean, I don't see why you couldn't get rid of that and block this up, but it is what it is. Some funky character to the rail line at least. This actually shouldn't be as much of a complicated fix as I first thought. Relatively simple. I'm going to need to readjust all of these to go on this new section now. That is a thing. Well, I am going to have to delete all of this. So you're going to go. You're going to go. Whichever bit you are. It's going to disrupt a lot of trains is this. But it is what it is at this point. Let's get rid of the lot. There we go, get rid of these. Trains are going to disappear, and yes, we're middling with the train line again. So I've got it set up where these two down here, these two are express and these two are freight. Which is fine, that station's quite happy. So we just need to connect this up down here now. So if we go something like this, probably going to disrupt a lot of the line, but it is what it is. Something like that. Oh, hang on, that ain't quite right. Drive on the left, so let's get that sorted. So we want this one to go over here. Something like that. It's going to build a tiny, stupid amount of bridge, but it is what it is. We've got full speed on that, so that's wonderful. Get that in, and then we want a bit of a parallel moving onto this section, like so. And then over here, this will be the freight section. Hopefully this behaves. Still at max speed, so that is rather juicy. Hey, oh. oh no. It won't let me do it quite up to theirs, but if we bung it there, for some reason it will accept that. And it's still at max speed, so we'll take that. Now we need to incorporate this into that line up there. Might be a little bit more fun. 
able to do that because we need these two tracks on the right to be on this section. We essentially need to split it up slightly, which is exactly what we did before. And then the other two on the left need to cross over it essentially. Or we just put it that little bit further down. So let's try and get this a bit onto here. So this bit's going to be the freight. It's not quite happy with that. Oh, there we go. Now it is. So that was going to be wonderful. And then we can connect the express train from down here onto it as well. It'll look a little bit silly, but it'll do the job. So let's get you onto there. You're happy. Excellent. Now we need these two coming off. This is going to be this one. Oh, wait up. This is where we start having arguments. If we bung it a little bit more down here, it might work a little bit better. Seems happy. So we'll do that. Hopefully this won't disrupt all the trains too much. And that is that. So that should work. Looks odd, yes, but it is what it is. And we can get some of these tracks facing the right direction. Got that one, and we've got this one. This is a freight. That needs to go that way. Oh, that needs to go that way, and so on. Get in there, get in there. Let's do this one. There, that should work to a degree. We need to make sure all of this new fat piece of track works now. Oh, before we do that, though, it would be a good idea to get these rural businesses onto this section, new section of track anyway, to reduce the number of trains on the original. But we'll do that as well. But we're going to have to get rid of this bit. We'll... And there's a switcheroo there, so we'll get rid of that straight away from that direction. And then bung it on somewhere down here. So these... These two are the express, these two are the freight. So it's 52 miles an hour maximum, but I'm happy with that. We're in an old train era, so that will be fine. Something like that. We've still got a switcheroo somewhere. Yeah, that's working lovely. Now we can do the same with Clark train station. So we bung one of these down here also, that will be wonderful. Something like that. And get these stuck on. The left one wants to be on that bit. Going in. Hopefully this isn't going to cause too much of a traffic jam. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Oh no, we've got problems already. Come on. Accept it for what it is, please. Did the other one worked. Ugh. Apparently he wants me to put it on this way, so I'll work with it. There we go. Bang. That is now the freight line on the other section, on the triangle bit. And that would appear to be fine. Now we can go even further with this. Eventually these towns are going to get bigger. But we're not going to be having a full switcheroo down there just yet. So what we can do is these trains coming from here in their own bit of train section so it doesn't slow it down anymore. Because we want to keep the flow going on these four here. So to do that in a manner which works, I'm going to have to build this bit of train line down here. Like so. There, so we've got all of them. And now I need this to go onto that. That then will connect all of these onto that extra bit of freight line, which is going to be quieter than the main one. This is going to take a little bit more wriggling. That's for sure. Don't worry, lads. It's only a slight adjustment of the rail line. Everything will be glorious, I'm sure about it. Right, so all that's now gone. We've recovered the materials, and I'm going to try and get it so that this somehow goes on to this bit here. Something like that. Now this is going to be a slight issue. It 
I might need to bring this back just so that it fits properly on it. Yeah, I don't like that. 26 miles an hour. I'm going to have to bring this further back. Get rid of that. Yep. Yeah. And all of this. That is already a lot better. It's that turn there that it doesn't like. So 41 will have to do. I'm happy with that. Excellent, excellent. That now should go into the freight section of the 8 doodah. I'm even going to do the same down here, but I'm not going to do it as a four lumper dumper. I'm just going to do a extra two lines here. So this freight goes directly into that bit, not clogging up or slowing down this bit any further. Just because New York is getting busy as well, and I don't want to slow it down anymore. We will do that. Let's bring it up here. I'll have to get rid of that bit first. Bring it up to something like that, just so it's sat there ready. We'll do the same over here as well. There we go. Talk about learning on the job, eh? Hey, oh, what is that? 41 miles at 48. Why? Which bit doesn't that like? Oh, it's that bend there. Well, that'll be fine. So it'll be slowing down to come into the station there anyway. Like connect this bit up. This is just going to be freight anyway. And that's happy with that. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. So looking at this, that should now work. I'm going to have to rejiggle all of these lines. That's going to be a bit of a nuisance, but we'll do it. And then up here... This is going to get busy as well. Now we're going to have, we've already got a separate train line for Montreal to Portland and back. So it would be prudent to go for a girthy A over there as well. Because I could stick it all on a separate line. So I don't want this, well all the trains are now gone. But I don't want this to be transferred just up there. Because that is also going to be super busy. And it also would work quite happily actually. Because when we do the other four... Those other ones will end up wriggling down here somewhere. Something like that, anyway. Still got the question, though, of... Well, when these when they go from around here, they'll somehow have to get to Montreal. Now, ideally, I'd have them coming out this way. That would mean a rather expensive tunnel system. But I do want it to come around here. That'd be a nice bit of track. And it'll have to connect up to there. We're, we're talking like that over here, like so. But th that corner might be a bit tight. Hopefully we'll wing it. But I am going to get it set up anyway. This is going to cost me even more money. But, you know, it's fine because so far we've got a fair bit of it. But once these upgrades are done, we should be raking the money in. We do want to get rid of this and stick it onto the new bit. Or oh, actually, oh yeah, 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 I do want to do that. That is correct. Well, that bit's now gone. I'm going to upgrade this to a juicy four. This is where things get expensive. Adding stations on is not the most economically friendly situation, but we'll do it. Oh, we've got an easy button. Yes, please. I'll have some of that. Excellent. We are going to need to wriggle around with all of the switcheroos and everything but we'll manage and then we're going to stick some of this onto the freight one which is this outer one which is fine 46 miles an hour that'll well we've nearly got a max there where's it gone there we go oh hey oh there you go it's happy with that bit that'll do we can stick another one right next to it and do the same on the other side just like that that's the new freight section this should separate all the traffic immensely i do need to upgrade this currently it's just a two but they don't seem to be getting too clogged up oh then then again i say that they're all there getting clogged up so i'm gonna have to upgrade that oh man i'm gonna have to upgrade all of that as well and do it properly and just do it all from the get-go i think Wow, we're just figuring things out. Come and join us on the Discord. It's a nice, juicy one. We've got a good few number of people here now. Currently, we've got Riddler Demon, who's a rather valued member. 
watching me do these recordings right now, you can do the same. Montreal and Quebec City have recently upgraded. This is definitely going to get more busy. I may leave... Oh no, I can't leave it. It's going to have to be doubled up, isn't it? That's going to be so expensive. Let's concentrate on getting this one sorted. I need to sort out all of the switcheroos and everything. Oh, and the train lines. Oh, Might as well start with these rural ones. We've got this and it... Oh, hang on a minute. We need to sort out all the directions too. I'll sort all these out. How's it going, Riddler? You alright? Listening? Wait, what's going on here? Oh, it's just that. If you type in the uh, MMJ, I'll read it. I've got my phone there. Awaiting your messages. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Now that's a bit of a trippy sight, but we've got all of these. It is looking like it's currently working. Let's get all of these ones sorted as oh, way up, sorted as well. I could have to do this all the way along. Now look at this bit. This is a bit of a mind boggle all of these different lines I think they're all moving <laughs> this is looking super trippy now so that means we must be getting somewhere I'll have to do all the switcheroos and then look at train lines so now with all of the switcheroos I'm gonna do them as twos because that's the way we've set this up so that should work fine I'm gonna need to fiddle with it around here a little bit Ooh, like, right. oh, they're switch, they're doubles, so that works wonderfully. We we'll get some of these in. This is Albany. Stick them all together so they look nice and dandy like that. Excellent. I'll we'll have to wriggle around with the ones over here as well. I think I accidentally deleted a couple of supply depots, so I'll have to fiddle with that also. Oh, I've just real, honestly, that was a really nice touch. You can. Just switch it up and it instantly fixes it the way you want it to. That is so much nicer, no messing about. That is one of the good updates I like about this game. They have reduced so much of the messing around, it's great. We're now in Boston, I've got four switcheroos there and there. That supply depot is still up, so I've still got some work to do down here. Another full girthy length one there. Now I'm only doing these as number of tracks as two. That should work fine. Ooh, I've just thought of a good solution. So, you know how we've got this rail line that goes all the way to from Quebec and Montreal and things coming down here. This is currently the uh, the transfer area to carry on going down. Now, currently they are all on this blob here, which is the busiest section. Now, we can stick them on here and completely get rid of this bit going this way. That'll be a cheaper option. I think we'll just see how things go, because you think, oh, you look though, they're all getting a bit clogged up up here as well, might need to do it. But yeah, I'm going to do it. There's a lot of trains on this section and it will degrade the speed and we can't be having that, which means all of this is also going to have to get upgraded, at least to some degree. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. Looking at this, I need to get some of these sorted out. Chief and Express status line between Boston and Philadelphia, which is there and there. Now, the only way that's going to happen is if we have, well, we've upgraded that part, so that should definitely stop the cloggage there. Getting the salt into New York City, that is from all the way up here. That has to travel all the way down. So that's definitely something that we need to be working on. Upgrading this bit of line should definitely help in that. We need to get a lot of people in the Mid-Atlantic States region, which is this one, I believe. So we need to do something with that as well. We are going to go for a nice juicy four going down here and start supplying stuff to these. But we're going to need money to buy the businesses and things, so I think we'll work on that. That's a thought, actually. The furniture and such, I did 
Oh, it is going down, so that is good. I wanted to get the price of that right down, and then there was some beverages over here that we also needed to fiddle around with. And these two. We need to make sure they are not on the transport around line. And we can scoop them up for a juicy price. Oh, yes. Just going to check everything works. And so far it is. That's running correctly. If we go to here, that is running correctly. All on this freight line. Yeah, it will stop anything rolling up here, but only briefly, really. Then we've got this. Oh, wait, oh, get off. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to change anything. That's fine. And then this. Oh, it's not letting me click it because it's just all been wriggled around with. See, this one doesn't know what's going on yet. So we do need to give them a little bit of chance. See about upgrading this one now from Portland all the way to Montreal. We'll get that into a freight and express lane. There's a lot of freight here going straight into Bangor. We'll get them on their own separate line. And connect these up onto this section here. This is on Portland. Where everything should be nice and dandy. This bit of track here, nobody's really using it. The only thing using it is the uh, Malone train station. That was really just an extension from the New York Triangle down here. So, connecting this onto this bit should work beautifully. Make that nice and girthy. Get rid of all of... Oh no, not that. All of this bit. Oh, hang on a minute. I need to be careful here not to delete everything. Get rid of those switcheroos. And get rid of it up here a little bit. Just so we don't accidentally blow everything up. Something like that. Get rid of that and them. Now this needs to be connected, so if we go something like that and that and blow all this up. A little bit different, but it is what it is. We can connect this up. Still oh wait, oh no not there. Get rid of that. Still got full speed, so I'm happy with that. Excellent, excellent. Now we can stick that all the way down here onto a good bit of this. Whether we have enough money for this or not is questionable, but we can at least upgrade some of it. That is a nice straight piece of track with a bit of bend in it for character. There we go. Adding these girthy train station bits is very expensive, but it is well worth it. Now we need to carry this on all the way over to Quebec City. Hopefully I've done this correctly. This is going to be an expensive one. Oh, I have put it on the right way. Oh, that's expensive. 300 grand, man. Well, that'll be six. Eek. Might wait. We're going to be a little bit short on the Cashingtons. What I could do in the meantime, get rid of that, put these a little bit down here, or even, even, just over here a little bit, something like that. Over here, you see where I'm going with this? Then we can get that other bit of train line in here for the freight stuff. That'll speed things up. That's going to be another two stations sorted down here. We'll just bung it something like that in case we need to ever extend it. Oh, way up. There we go. And then we can blow a bit of this up. We'll go for down here. Oh, yeah, get rid of that bit there. Like so, and connect it onto that one. Digging a nice juicy trench through the middle. That's going to... Hopefully never flood, but you never know. I don't think it rains too often in this game. Now we've got the tracks already set up for this bit, so we can extend this and then connect that onto it, which sounds lovely. And then we've got a little bit of something ready as we go. Now it's only 52 miles an hour, not maximum, but that's because that curve is just getting tighter and tighter. But we'll live with that. Now we just need this which is these two doodars going on to Bangor. 
onto that bit of track. 37 miles an hour, that ain't great. How do we make that nice? Oh, there you go. Maximum. And maximum is supreme. Speed and power. Don't remember doing it, but I must have done it. Upgraded all of the, this to a 4, which is down Buffalo Way. So we need to... Well, that should be fine. We just need to make sure that they behave themselves. Right, so let's have a look at all of our trainage. We'll go for the name ones because we stuck an E in front of the ones which are the main ones. We've got the New York Triangle now. That should go to... Oh, we might just need to unpause it for a minute. Oh, wait, oh. Boston and Albany Railroad cannot be stopped. We have a stupid amount of miles of railroad. This is essentially going to reset all of the trains. But this should be the last time. So New York City, this is the express to Albany, back to New York and then over to Boston and then back to New York and they should use this new express bit which is all for them. Look at that, lovely, that should work. I've not even needed to fiddle with it. That is supreme. We're going to have the dining cars, because passengers like to have a nosh while they're travelling. Excellent. Give me some of that, please. And the freight one should also be behaving. Oh, ayo, ayo. Oh, no, 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 no. What have I done here? Right, the freight, no. Oh, yeah, right. That's, um, I'll figure it out. We need to make sure these use the other bit of rail. So to do that, we just, again, essentially reset it. But New York City, we don't own... Oh, wait, oh, get rid of that. Oh, yeah, we don't own that bit of plankage. So we'll get rid of that from the transport so we can buy it. Over to Albany on not that piece of track. We need a waypoint, so we go like... That, that should work. And it is, excellent. And then over to Albany. And they're on their own separate line, excellent. Now we don't own that. But we do own the rest, so that's happy. Just need to get it to Boston and back now. But back to New York first. Make sure that they still use that line to go over to Boston. And they are excellent. We're winning this now. Need to make sure that that is on freight. Oh, I need to get rid of those things again, I think. Oh, no, we're good. It's behaving. And when we get to Boston, we don't own that pottery thing, so we'll get rid of that off the line because I want to buy that for cheap. And then we come back down over to New York City on the same line. Ah, yeah. And remember to get rid of that. All is good. Ooh, another way that we could have done this is to specify the bit of track that it uses. Let's just give that a go. Try it without the waypoints. And it should revert to the shortest possible route, which is that. But if we go to New York City, we want it so it uses third and fourth. Now the third, uh, the fourth will be going out. There we go. So one, two, three, four, that goes out and does its thing. Goes in the right track, then it comes back. And it behaves itself. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Oh, that saves a lot of mucking about. We'll keep doing that. Confirm that, they'll be happy. What I will do, just to make sure that everything behaves on the New York Triangle line, I'll make sure that in New York's... Oh no, I don't need to. It's behaving. I'll, uh, I'll leave it to it. Now then, now for the other ones. Boston and things. Oh, hang on a minute. What is this? Boston, Philadelphia. I didn't even realise that I actually did that. But that is also behaving. If I could just get rid of those waypoints. And really spice this up. It's going to go on the freight one, which we don't want. So it starts in Philly. It's down here. 
station is there, so we want it to go on to these ones here. So in Philadelphia, we want it on track two to go out. Which is that one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that, anyway. Then it's using that track, which is rather lovely. Then it's going to keep using that all the way across. Onto the other bit of express line and zoom through and is happy with that. Excellent. Well, that's good. I completely forgot about that train. Oh, that's right. We had a mixed train on this bit, which we can't unmix until we have more money to get that across. Now we've got the Portland one to fiddle around with. Portland to Buffalo all the way down here. Just need to make sure that that behaves. Which, I might even need to mess with this one. We can get rid of some of these waypoints and just do it the way that we want it to do it. And see if it behaves. No, it changes. So we're in Portland and we want to get it so it's on track. One. Yeah, so it's going to go steaming down on here on that bit of track through Boston. And everything else. Albany is still staying on that one bit of track all the way down. And then it's going to do a switch around and then carry on back. Excellent! That is working rather juicily. Now we just need to double check all of the freight ones. Again, we've got a million waypoints in here, so we can get rid of all of them and we can actually see what is going on. Portland, Boston, Albany, Syracuse. Oh, we don't want another Syracuse in there. Then over to Buffalo. Oh, right, okay, something's gone wrong. Syracuse, and then Buffalo. And then back to Syracuse, that's it. And then to Albany, Boston, and Portland. And we also need to tell them not to use some of this. That should now be fine. Let me double check it. It would appear that it is working correctly because of my absolute questionable genius of lane management. Right, lovely is that? Right, lovely. Okie dokie, off you pop. Have some of that. The New York Triangle one is behaving. We've also taught it to not use things we don't own, so that's good. And the rest of them should be dandy. Let's attempt to see what happens next. All the trains are probably going to go on a mad bit of resetting, but it's fine. Oh, wait, oh. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I thought I didn't put the uh, other doodads on there then. Oh, which I haven't. I do need to put the full amount of switcheroos on. So we'll get on with that straight away. Right, so. Kind of forgot, not going to lie. Everywhere else does appear to be... Oh, no. Got this bit here as well. We'll go black and a bit of black. Just like that. Then up here, probably the same, because I've also probably forgot that, which I have. Like that. There we go. And up here as well, which I've also forgotten that bit there as well. Probably deleted a couple of supply depots as well. I'm going to have to go around and make sure I replace all of them. So they're happy. Hey, oh, what's going on here then? Need all of that. That should be a parallel. For some reason it doesn't want me to put one there, so I'm gonna. Something wrong with that. I'll bung it there, see what happens. I hope there's not a mistake down here somewhere, like it has done to me before. It also appears I have not actually stuck any switcheroos down here also, which is slightly concerning. I think I just kind of bunged it in and hoped for the best. Do we have a maintenance depot here? It would appear that I do. Thankfully our trains aren't going to get murdered with that one then. That should all now be working. We'll just give them a minute. Lots of them are waiting to be deployed. So we should be good. Away oh, up. 
quality balance is um, going to get slapped in the face. So that went up through the roof, mainly for mail and, oh wow, production went through the roof. I don't know what we did in the last episode, but we did something good. Hopefully this time it will also drastically sort things out. Soon as these get wriggled around properly, it's just going to take a little bit of time. How are we looking up here? Probably a little bit of a mess. I think this building is the production hall, which looks pretty cool actually. Not a bad little one, isn't it? We've got a roof just for the engine by the looks of things. And we're going to wait for an express train. And we're going to have a little ride along, you see. And see if the new system works. Now, a lot of trains are going to be deploying because we accidentally middle around with them all. But this should be good. Hopefully, we don't have a breakdown in our journey. But you're actually going to see the full length of the track from here to all the way down to Buffalo. This is a super wide track. Speeding past this one now. Not bad. This is so wide. This is ridiculous. Did you see what happened there? Oh, I hope. And that can happen again. Oh, what have you and done? Again. We've been sabotaged, which is not ideal, but our money has definitely increased. Quite a pleasant journey, actually. Don't want to wait for a resupply, though. That's going to be a little bit annoying. Coming up to Boston. Oh, wait, oh, mind you, noggin. Might grab a cup of tea while we're here. That is for sure. I do definitely need one. Still steaming to Albany now. We always slow down going through these. It's a little bit annoying. I don't see why we need to slow down if we're not resupplying. But everything seems to be flowing. It is a bunny train. Not too shabby. Still the extra girthy one. Steaming around at 33 miles an hour. Our money is going through the roof now, which is good. But all the trains won't have even... Oh, it looks like we need to derail then. Won't have even uh, come out yet. Try and stay on board though, because that isn't looking too good. Hey, oh, oh, there's the other one. That's just skipped across the entire line. Carrying things. This is working lovely. Here's that weird bit of tunnelage that we've had to do. I really don't see why we can't just clear that out, but it is what it is. That looks really unstable. Those trees are massive that are on top of that. That's just asking for a collapse. We've got a pretty view here, though. This is part of the New York Triangle section now. That is... That's a rocket! Look at that! That's going! We've got all these trains going, carrying lots of beverages. Uh, I think we should be going back that way. 34 miles an hour over the bridge, but we are slowing down. Are we actually going to be resupplying here? Oh, hey, oh. We are now the most valuable company. Excellent. I don't think this train has actually resupplied yet. This is quite interesting. This is wonderful. Well, this is now Albany. This train station looks rather juicy. Lovely jubbly. We really are setting off a lot quicker at these stations now. With those um, dispatch office doodads that we've got plugged in. All these people houses are going to get... Filled full of 
chimney smoke from these trains. I wouldn't like to be that horse, that looks really on the edge, watch out man. Hopefully a train doesn't come storming out of there, that'll be a collision waiting to happen. That is a really... Oh, that's so close. It's one thing I've always been a bit like, ooh, the trains, they build things so close to each other. He's going over a lovely little bridge. This is one of the, we're getting close to the back end of it now. This is going to Syracuse. And everything is flowing. I've not seen one traffic jam yet, which is rather nice to see. Approaching the station. Not as big this town, but it is going to be growing soon if we keep feeding it with lots of juicy things. Excellent. On our way to Buffalo now. Been quite a nice journey. Struggling a little bit up the hill, but it is what it is. We're still going to get there. This is a bit of an incline, but we're still getting 30 miles an hour. We are accelerating. Our money is definitely going stupid now. We'll be able to build that other bit and upgrade this. Here's another little bridgey doodah. Excellent. That's an empty freight train. We don't like empty ones. Something on the... There's a rock! Did you see that? I'm going to stop that just for that. I saw a rock on that train line. Where did that go? Look at that! There's a bloody rock on the thing! Who's not got rid of that? Someone's gonna get sacked for that one. That is dangerous. And another one! That's ridiculous. I think we have fixed the rail line. They are all steaming down here exceptionally well. At full speed everywhere. No clogging up. Look at that map. Get it so you can see it. There we go. Full of trains, all happy, and we are making stupid amounts of money again. And we still have multiple trains waiting to be deployed, so it's only going to get better. Do you want to upgrade this section now? So we'll do that now. Right, time to upgrade this bit over here. We're going to go for a juicy four with a bit of a six in there for the extra freight bit. Now we've got the cash to. Do so, we'll really ramp this up, we'll go for another big black. That seems to be not as expensive as before for some whatever reason. I reckon they'll end up getting a little bit slower around this bit of a bend here, but I'm sure we'll survive. The maximum train speed we currently have is around, wait, what was it, 33, and that's with a couple of upgrades. I'm sure we'll be managed. Now we don't need this two to carry on, so we could just bung it on down here. But we do want this gone and added onto this bit here. Like that. Get rid of this little doodah here. Like that. And then bung it onto that bit. Well, I was going to bung in this bit over here. From Quebec City to the bit of corn that we've got stashed over here, but it's having a meltdown, so it's not going to let me do that. So what I will do is at least make it a um, a girthy four, and that'll do, I think, because I'm not firing that for three days, that's for sure. One thing I'm going to have to do to get this into a 4 is turn the station around. It's just something I did notice in another episode, so we'll do that now before I go mental at it. Right, so this should now work. I'm going to 4 girth all the way across with some switcheroos everywhere. I do need to do the directions, and then I will fix the trains. Right, we should be good. I just need to fix the trains now. All the switcheroos and directions are all in place. We've rebuilt Montreal Station. Yeah, all looking good. 
And all that should be working lovely. That one is. We're going to have a dedicated Freight and Express now on this section of track. Which is glorious. We'll just double check all of these. And all is going well. Now we just need to do the Freight and the Express separation. Which is going to be a bit of a kerfuffle, but it is what it is. So, first of all, we're going to... Get rid of all that. Just blap, gone. Everything will return. The train is going to be over to a. We'll do the express first. Change that to a E. Go for a bit of express. Bung a dining. Oh, bung a dining car on it, like so. We don't need 15 trains though. We'll go for. Uh, I don't know. We'll go for 10 for now, because that'll be 10 going that way and 10 going the other. I mean, sorry, 5 going that way and 5 going the other. Should be fine. Now the route, I'm going to go from Montreal first over to Quebec. Now which bit of track is that going to use? It is using that one. Over to Bangor and then to Portland. Is it behaving? No. It isn't. Because we go over here and it wants to use... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that's right. It's the other way around. Right, so in Montreal, we want the first track. Because then we end up going now and again they're up that way. Like so. And then it should behave because it can't switch to anywhere else. So Quebec City. Over to Bangor. Still on that one, yes. And then over to Portland. In that section, excellent. And then back to Bangor and Quebec City and Montreal. All on that bit of line, perfect. Now apparently, something which doesn't have a bit of directional control on it. So let me just double check. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. All of it? Really? Oh, fix that now. I'll have to redo that train again. Alright, try this again. And just like that, it is behaving rather excellently. Nice. We now, Tren, uh, not Tren, 10 express trains doing some of that. And then we're going to swap it out again with some freight on the other middle line. It's freight. We're going to go for the D1 and bung another 10 trains on that. I think we own every business down here. Oh, apart from the cheese in Portland, we need to knock that off because I don't want them using it. Excellent. And it does appear to be behaving. So it is using the correct piece of railway track. Lovely jubbly, everything should be set, ready to go, and it will finally be fixed. Excellent. Now it's going to take a little while for them to do their thing, but they should be happy. Now then, what research do we have? Might be worth getting the maintenance requirements of your locomotives is reduced by 5%, or the reliability even, that might be a good one. I think we'll do that. Don't want any of them blowing up, but we have more to play with. Maybe the maximum speed on the corner. Mm, I don't think that's too much of an issue right now. It increases the amount of packages in all cities with one of your stations by 5%. That is a rather juicy one. Not bothered about the saboteurs right now. We could bung in a refrigerator that will increase the revenue on groceries that might include meat and things you, you, anything logically with a bit of produce on it so that will be good we've got quite a lot of that actually I might do that and fiddle with it later now we'll go for the I'll bung in some extra oil on it that'll be nice now then, that should be rather lovely. New York is looking pretty busy. But they're all waiting to be deployed. That won't help that then 
I've told them to not do a maintenance in Boston and Albany because we want the trains in and out of there as fast as possible. But look at them all, there's loads, it's packed. Excellent, all these trains are still going to be floating around on getting out there, so we'll have to give it a little bit of time. The money should really ramp up now. And on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Efficiency has been gained, and the train line has been mended. Let me know your thoughts on this rework and organisation. Is it enough? Is it good enough? Would you have done something better? Let me know, but honestly, it's flowing rather nicely. I have not reduced the number of trains. Oh, that has been bumbled by that one. But they're all flowing and flowing well they are. All full. Oh, hey, oh. oh yeah, that's a dining car. Salt going to New York, hopefully. Oh, Albany. Oh, we need more salt. So I think the next stage is probably going to be getting some of these extra bits sorted out. Just we need to let the whole system settle. And we'll see how we got on. Thank you very much for watching if you have. And I will see you later. Bye.